Arid, the new map released. This map comes with a lot of new locations and I'll be showing you what these locations hold in store for the map. Now, firstly, the safe zone. The safe zone is a staple part of the map, consisting of various NPCs making bygones, clothing and various other supplies. It's also a great way to get to other parts of the map using the bus. Now firstly, we come to this NPC. This NPC is called Nomad, and this NPC mainly buys with various electronic items such as receivers, graphics cards, and other miscellaneous items. So let's take a look at what he sells. If you trade them, he can sell you handcuffs, handcuff keys, and marking flares. Now marking flares are very important when you get further down into the NPC NPC upgrades, which are which is a great way to unlock more supplies, weapons and clothing. So anyways, now Never Nomad, he buys various supplies such as what's the name, traffic cones, your broken radios, your electrical items. He also buys some other junk items like scissors, cheese graters, and if you find graphics cards, then well then you have three thousand XP. That's pretty nice. So if you ever have any junk items like blue red pens or rope or traffic cones or broken radios, you can always sell them here. So let's move on to the next NPC. Next we come to this NPC. This NPC is called Red. Now this is basically some sort of safe zone armory. This NPC mainly buys your buys and sells your weaponry. A unique feature on this NPC is that it can be upgraded in order to unlock better deals. So let's take a look. If we talk to him you can get guns over here, so you can, so you can, right now at level, I guess, zero, you can sell only, he only sells to you these two guns, but he just buys every single gun. Now, you can actually upgrade this NPC, so by upgrading it and giving him two metal parts or whatever he asks, if you get further down the upgrade line. You can get more purchase options and more barters and also get a load of experience. So the more purchase options you have, the better weaponry you can get. And this applies to every other NPC, the ones that of course you can buy and sell from. Now you can get ammunition from here too. And another unique feature that's very unique to this map, I believe, is that you have barter offers. Now let's say you have some sort of junk items or items that you don't currently need. You can trade them in for a weapon modification kit or whatever barters he gives later on. So if you have three wire and three broken clocks, you can get a pistol suppressor. So that's this NPC. Now let's move on to the next NPCs. Okay, now we've gone over those two main NPCs, let's go to the other NPCs at the safe zone. Now there's a lot, so let's cover them. First of all, we have the architect. Now the architect trades in your building items and he can give you various other, he can sell you various other building items. So if you come and trade them, you can give in a box of screws, radio receivers, radio transmitters and he can sell you these nice building items, so hammers, pocket knives, saws. And if you upgrade them, you can get better things like rewire kits, etc. Now if you move on to these two NPCs over here, start with this guy. This guy sells you your basic clothing items. If you upgrade him, he can give you even better clothing items. So for now, let's say, let's see. He gives you this backpack, he gives you these knapsacks. Let's move on to, let's look at what shirts he gives you. He gives normal, boring cloth shirt. If you upgrade him, you can get better military shirts and police shirts, etc. Now another important NPC is the informant. Let's say you get floppy disks, USB drives that are found across the map. You can trade them in for XP over here. And if you get a documents bag, which can only be found at Fort Nell, and I'll talk about Fort Nell later in the video, you can trade them for very good items. So red circuit boards, you can make centuries of that. And adamantine ingots. Now, adamantine is a new ore that's been added to the map. With a, it's basically stronger than metal, so make your bases out of it. And I'm dehydrating, but that's fine because I have my settings up. This guy, he sells you luxury items, so if you trade them, he can give you these golden things. Golden glasses, golden quails, these can be used as a currency. 
Now, if you move on to here, these three mechanics. Guys, this guy is basically a mechanic. He sells you all, like, car-related stuff. So, if you destroy a car, and they normally drop things like car engines or car cassette players, you can sell them over here for some XP. You can also buy car batteries. That's nice. Over here is this guy. He sells... He buys high-tier electrical military items. So if you get IR spotlights, CW keys, you can sell them or you can scrap them. That's up to you. Now over here you have the dog tag trader. Now if you get dog tags, dog tags can be found when you kill military zombies or police zombies. You can pile them up, you can make them into bundles, you can buy stuff from here. So that's basically it for most of the NPCs at the safe zone, except for a Ruby guide. Um, she just tells you a lot of stuff about just the progression. So if you want to learn from her instead of me, well, that's, then that's up to you. So here you can see all the tables. This is the tables for like if you upgrade an NPC, it will show over here. And it's upgrade. So if I level red up to three, it's, that, that will light up. Now, coming over here, lastly, this is the bus driver. The bus driver is very important because it can take you to two key locations of the map. First, the fishing lounge. The fishing lounge. At the fishing lounge, you can far, you can get a fish. You can trade them for XP. And west side is very close to the airfield. In fact, there's a path made from the, from west side to the airfield. Now he can take you to these places. Just press them, and you'll get teleported there. So that's an easy way to get to the airfield. Now that's completely it for the safe zone. Now let's move on to the city. In fact, the only city in the entire map. The city. In fact, the only city in the entire map. A key feature of this map, or the city, is that only the gameplay oriented parts are included, with many buildings unable to be entered. A few examples of buildings able to be entered are the police stations, the steel refinery, the construction yard, and the hospital. So let's take a look at what we spawn. So if you go to the first floor, it's quite simple. You can see that the police station, it spawns your police items, your steel refinery, it spawns your basic construction items, your construction yard, again, your construction items, and the hospital sells, does it sell? It spawns your medical items. Let's take a better look at these inside the actual map. Okay. So now let's take a proper look at actually what these buildings in the city actually hold for you. Now, if we come to this steel refinery, you can see that it has your basic construction items. You can find broken rescue saws, which are extremely helpful if you want to progress in the map. Over here is the police station. Here you have your zombies over here. <laughs> You come into this police station, you have these zombies right here. Um, it spawns your vests, and also you have this tactical tactical weapon manual. That's good if you want to sell it out of the informant that I talked about earlier. Over here, you have your basic objects, your water. Water is really important because if you look at my stats right now, these stats aren't because I got hit or something. It's because you spawn like that. You spawn with 25% health, so you need to... Not 25% health, 25% radi radiation infection. So it's very important that you quickly get your medications and you make sure you don't get hit by zombies. So going forward over there, let's zoom in on that. That right there is the construction yard. Mega zombies sometimes spawn there, so you should be wary of that. You have your hospital, etc. If you look at the buildings, you can't enter them. That's very nice because. You just people just really camp buildings in the city open like this. So it's good, so people don't camp. You come in, you see the city, this is the construction yard, so you have your zombies right there. You come in here, there's your basic construction items. This heavy duty cable can be stripped into wire. And sometimes you can find rescue tools. I got scared by that. That's some lubricant oil. You can use that for your whatever. This is some, um, I believe it's, ah, I forgot. That's some kerosene, this is good for raiding. And so that's basically it for the city. Now let's move on to some military bases. 
the airfield is one of the non-dead zone military locations. There's a very small amount of non-military dead zone locations that are good, excluding various outposts. And spawns at the airfield include weaponry, military clothing, ammunition, and ammunition belts are important for raiding. So if you want to raid someone on the map, you can use those ammunition belts. Now let's um, come across this airfield. You have your basic barracks here, you can come here, get your items, there's nothing special, or that special, you can get your guns, the main gun is a Zolash, it's basically the AK. So you have all that, over here is a hangar, now the hangar is really nice because you can get a lot of ammunition belts, and I mean a lot. So let's do a quick tour, let's see <coughs> how many explosives we can get, mm -hmm. let's do that, come over here. It means you've got a blasting cap, kerosene, very good for raiding. We've got a transmitter. It's, it's a quite a good place for getting raiding gear. You need blasting caps and kerosene, kerosene for gunpowder, etc. And if you come to this hangar again, you can see that. Let, let's just see if you get an ammunition belt. The ammunition belt over there. There's a lot of ammunition belts. These ammunition belts you can use for just raiding in general because when you get these, you can transform them into gunpowder and then gunpowder into explosive compound and then you can just make raiding gear to New York. You can raid other people. Well, that's basically it for the airfield. Not not something that's very special. You can find your military vehicles here. Sometimes APC spawn, but that's quite rare. Mega zombies also spawn, but... I'm just gonna tell you that mega zombies are not that hard to kill. I've done that on the playtest server, and they just take a few shots. So let's move on to the next location. Now, important areas for loot are outposts. You can get a small, so called points which hold military tear loot, spawn helicopters, and jeeps. Now, to go off a tangent, um, Helicopters and jeeps very important. You need vehicles to get across in this map. It's quite a large map, so you're going to need it. Now, some points may contain a rescue door, which holds important items such as photocathode tubes and basically hyperadrenalines. And these are very good because you need these to get into a dead zone. And that can be broken using a rescue saw, which you can make using the items that you can find. Now, these outposts, they're good for new players because most, you know, tryhards are going to go to the airfields, military base to kill people. Here, it's good. There's loot, but there's not a lot of people trying to kill you. So that's basically it for the outposts. There's around four of them, I believe. If we take a quick look at the map, over here we can see there's... Ahamadura, that's one of them. There's Point Oscar, Point November, and Point Mike, which I'm at right now. These are the four points, these outposts, military outposts, where you can find various gear. Now, just note Point November, Point Oscar, and Point Mike, they have PMC gear, so it's not military gear per se, but kind of is. So now let's move on to the next location Tomorrow Complex. <clears throat> Tomorrow Complex. It's a military base. We can we can be spotted all across the map. I think you know why. It's because it's a big satellite dish that can just be seen anywhere from the map because it's very big. Now, it's basically like the airfield. It holds the exact same loot. There's also NPC spawns and a mega zombie spawn, which if you zoom in right there, you can see it. Now, Mega Zombies in this map, they're pretty easy to kill. So it's basically Tomorrow Airfield, not Tomorrow Airfield, the other airfield. It's basically the same, but there's probably going to be a lot of tryhards coming here to kill you. Now, another small thing is that every single military base has landmines. Now, these landmines are designed to kill new players. They're scattered across the perimeter. Of, of the military bases so if you step in these you will die that's unfortunate so that's basically it you can actually go up this um, radio tower it's pretty nice 
And yeah, that's basically it for the loot. Um, you can get your fuel here. There's also mega zombie spawns over here. They spawn guns, your vests, etc. And APCs can spawn like this one. Unfortunately, there's no guns in the APCs, so I'm just gonna have to leave it like that. Now, let's move on to the next locations. Now, over here, it's the overpass. The overpass is a construction site located in the northeast of the map. It holds your basic construction items alongside a very important item called the steel mesh. If you've played the map Elva, you might know that the steel mesh is very important. The steel mesh, you can use it to make gas masks, etc, etc. So, you can also find broken rescue saws. That's very nice. And it's a pretty open place, so it's going to be nice PvP. If you like PvP, I guess you'd come here. You can get probably snipers coming over here. You can also climb the crane up here. It's a pretty good sniping spot. Make sure no one comes. You can also have your floppy disk spawn so yeah if you're a triad and you want to get some kills you can come over here but in loot terms it just holds your basic construction loot your steel meshes your kerosene your lubricant oil you can just found some lubricant oil there your electric drill etc so you can find those basic items so let's move on to the next location now there's quite a lot of unnamed location but one of the most important is fort now Fort now is a military high tier area containing document bags, HG ammunition belts, and in general, high tier items. It cannot be found with GPS or chart and is a dead zone and also requires a bar at the top and bottom along with a gas mask to enter it and actually loot it. Its, pro it's approximate location is at the center of the dead zone radius that you can find on the map. So if you look at the map over here, have this large um, area that's red is out it's located around here so if you want to screenshot that you can so this is Fort Nell this is a dead zone area you come in here you have quite good loot over here you have um, if you come over here at the start you can get AP shells that's good for raiding this place is very good for raiding I've, be, um, I've looted this place you have your blasting caps, you have AP shells that you can scrap into your gunpowder. So in general, this is a very high to like high to end game place. So if you have nothing better to do, if you just want to raid people, you can come here, get loot, etc. So it's basically it's like the airfield but better. Now that's it for Fort Nell, that's that's one of the most important unnamed locations. All the other unnamed locations they hold loot but not very important loot so this is fort now let's actually dive a bit closer into fort now itself um you have you can actually get a lot of your items over here so it has multiple floors um you can get your usb sticks over here entering here you can get your um these are good items if you want to trade them in at the informant and over here are coils which is good for building and crafting sentries I believe and have your AP shell once again that is good for raiding and that right here is Fort Nell this is the this is the enter dead zone now that's it for all the locations That's it for the video, thanks for watching the video and I really hope you all enjoy the new map and make sure to like, subscribe and make sure to come back for more videos. I'll see you next time.